hello, this is Ish here, Peace Christian again. We're now a bit further away from the police headquarters. This is uh, Gloucester Road, south side, the government revenue tower and the immigration tower. Now, we're going to check out reports that um, some protesters have already got into the revenue tower and many of them are outside right now. As you can see, many are blocking the roads, uh, Gloucester Road, uh, both sides, you can see them. Um, to the left is the revenue tower, immigration tower. To the right it's Fortis Tower, uh, Lok Kwok Hotel. With protesters blocking one side and the other side apparently. It may not be actually protesters blocking the uh, westbound road because there's an engineering truck and some cones there seemingly I, I don't think protesters will have the um, key to use the engineering truck to block the westbound road so they're now blocking the eastbound as they sign to build um, barricades now let's go down to check the situation at the revenue tower they're mostly at the revenue tower but not the immigration tower it's right next to it. As you can see right now, many are outside up to 100 or 2. <clears throat> so for those who didn't watch our live just now at the police headquarters, um, the short version is that uh, Protesters gave a 5 p.m. deadline yesterday for the government to respond to the demands or they will escalate their actions uh, today, which you're seeing right now. So the demands are retracting the extradition bill entirely, um, release all the rest of the protesters, including those on bail, not to charge them, stop, arrest, stop arresting further protesters, and uh, retract the characterization of riots for the June 12 protests. The government did not respond to the demands uh, by 5 p.m. yesterday, um, although Secretary for Justice, Theresa Chain, issued an apology today via a bot post that she posted. Uh, Postesses apparently did not uh, agree with that. They did not accept the apology. And uh, apparently some staff of uh, the revenue tower next to me said that they can't go in and people inside would not be able to come out as well. So let's go down. Now this again as escalation is because uh, the government did not respond to protesters demands yesterday. As they now move in barricades to block Gloucester Road and people working at the revenue tower apparently could not get out and no one could get in as well so um civil servants at the revenue tower it's effectively being blocked by work uh why this is happening apparently is because when uh, protesters warn of further actions today uh last night the government decided to close the government headquarters telling uh, staff they don't have to go to work at the government headquarters uh, today and they can follow the contingency plans that their departments have designed beforehand. Now apparently so protesters decided that
blockading the government headquarters would not be useful so they tried to blockade the police headquarters and now as you can see the revenue tower arguing with this man in white but he's leaving so apparently the protesters are allowing those inside the tower to leave one by one so it's um, staff who are outside who cannot enter but those who are inside can apparently leave as processes open a queue for them and um, an interesting side note is that um, as I am um, at this site um, I'm using an iPhone so um, apparently some people have been randomly clicking people to send uh, uh, messages through airdrop including a photo uh, urging people to sign the uh, uh, petition for White House urging the US government to do something about Hong Kong and of course I, I can't receive the message for now because if I receive it for from airdrop then it's likely to be stopped now they're cheering up for this clapping, cheering for people who left the immigration tower, revenue tower for now. No, also telling her good work. You can go off work now. Can go. You can go home. So again, um, because the government decided to close the government headquarters today in light of the protests beforehand. So protesters blocked the police headquarters uh, asking the police commissioner who's the head of the police force to come out to speak to them to apologize uh, and to release all protesters arrested to not charge them and they also now block the revenue tower but uh, staff, government, civil servants inside are allowed to leave right now it's just that if they want to go back inside, it's seemingly not so possible. But those working inside can leave. As just now, uh, seemingly a civil servant just left the tower and they were cheered on by the protester saying that you can now go off work and go home. Go around the revenue tower to check what's going on. Um, for those who just uh, get into this life, uh, other than blocking the revenue tower, protesters are also um, blocking Glossero outside. Apparently uh, the entrance are locked. Los 
the road blocked by protesters, no traffic. But apparently they only blocked the uh, eastbound because the westbound road seemingly was blocked by an engineering truck and assume that should not be uh, done by protesters. But just to recap, someone asked me to go to the police headquarters. Um, right now, the, the situation there is at a standstill because um, they have been blocking police headquarters for like two hours. Uh, not a lot has been going on right now, other than um, protesters continue to ask the police commissioner to come out to talk to them. Uh, two lawmakers, Aung Nok Hin and Ted Hoi, wanted to go into the police headquarters to file a complaint themselves but the police did not open the gates for them. Um, the poli a police spokesperson uh, said that there is no killer-runs operation at the police headquarters for now. Uh, they could allow a peaceful rally, but urged them to leave, urged the protesters to leave so that uh, emergency services can resume. Uh, but so far, the police have not taken any actions. So police headquarters, it's in a standstill, and as you can see, Revenue Tower, it's now the new occupied site right now. Uh, next to it is the Immigration Tower, as you can see here in front, not, not much going on. Now, I'm not sure about the process of strategy, but um, if you know the uh, geography of Wan Chai, then if um, protesters block the entrance to the immigration tower, which they haven't done so yet, they could have blocked the entrance to the uh, convention and exhibition center, uh, the central tower in Wan Chai, and uh, as well as a footbridge to um, the Star Ferry to Chim Sa Choi but nothing is going on at the Immigration Tower for now the main target is the Revenue Tower and this building blocks here also include the Wan Chai Government Tower including the District Court some offices uh, which is also locked right now. Uh, apparently, uh, some civil servants, office workers, are trying to get back into the office uh, with the entrance with the signs pointing entrance to the right. But apparently, they're told to go back to the left side to get inside. But again, this is not the process's main target for now. The main target is uh, Revenue Tower with the Inven Revenue Department inside. Protesters are also handing out ice patches for people who are feeling uh, because the weather is too hot. Now there's no rain here but the police headquarters has been uh, raining on and off. As you can see um, government workers are leaving the building. Uh, some of them uh, just a moment ago were cheered on by the protesters saying that you can now go off work and you can go home.
chanting leave work, leave work as office workers inside the building are leaving and they go off work as you can see many are leaving or seemingly just normal workers inside the building Let's find someone to talk to. Processes are saying um, stand up as uh, police are coming from behind. Go check it out. Some are saying 20 to 30 police. As protesters tell each other to wear masks. Anyhow, police are seemingly taking action slowly because of the pushback against the police um, from last week as they used tear gas, rubber bullets, beanbag rounds against protesters, 150 of tear gas canisters. <laughs> Apparently, why we can't see the police is because uh, they have all entered the Wan Chai government building right next to the Renfe New Tower to potentially prepare for actions. Now back to why police are slow in actions, uh, because last week police used a significant amount of force against protesters, uh, tear gas, beanbag rounds, rubber bullets. Uh, lawmakers, activist groups have filed complaints to the police saying that the force used is disproportional in, and in particular the force used at City Tower right next to Admiralty uh, Legislative Council it's not appropriate because protesters were at a peaceful rally approved by the police as they were surrounded by the police, uh, you, tear gas used on them, and they have only one glass door to enter the city tower to escape. And if handled inappropriately, they may cause a stampede. Uh, fortunately, it did not happen. But um, I would say that the police may be more careful in terms of actions because of the negative reactions they have received from society right now so even though the protesters are blocking the revenue tower for now um, the government the police is still not taking any action Go up and better look. Reach 
頭先嗰個係特首辦主任啊，喺喺度路過，喺度路過，落機咯，落機行咗，真係，特首辦啊，哦 ，Apparently the。Apparently, the director of the chief executive office just passed by, but I guess many people did not did not recognize him. Maybe he was having lunch nearby, but the protesters did not recognize him, so he just passed by. Again, for those who just came into the live, this is Wan Chai's revenue tower. You can see protesters are surrounding the Indian revenue towers after they blocked the police headquarters uh, earlier today. To trace back the story, um, Processors gave four demands to the government to be answered by 5 p.m. yesterday, including withdraw the tradition bill where people could be sent to um, China for trial if passed, but it was suspended after mass protests. Uh, in particular, the protest on June 12 that it became a violent clash between protesters and um, the police. But obviously, protesters would not be able to take on the police. Uh, at least 76 were injured, uh, 32 were arrested, including, according to the police, five were arrested for rioting. So the second demand the protesters gave was retract the characterization of riot for the June 12 protests and the third one is stop charging, arresting and charging protesters. Now the chief executive and the secretary for security have apologized in person for um, everything basically to people of Hong Kong but would not withdraw the bill saying that uh, the stance is suspension of the extradition bill. Secretary for Justice Theresa Chang also apologized but not in person. Uh, she did so via a blog post this morning uh, in a written form but of course as you can see Processes did not accept that apology. That's why um, protesters today urge for an escalation action to surround the government headquarters. But in response to that, the government quickly decided last night to close the government headquarters that people working in the government headquarters can choose to uh, work using the contingency plans that their departments have decided. Uh, many of them will be working from home, uh, working at other government buildings and so on. So, because of the government headquarters was uh, closed, uh, many protesters only blocked Harcourt Road right outside the government headquarters for a very short time this morning and changed the target to police headquarters. At the police headquarters, they asked the police chief, Stephen Lowe, to come out to speak to them, to apologize. Um, and to agree to the demands of uh, releasing protesters and not to arrest more protesters. But uh, the police did not uh, do anything for the demands and two lawmakers attempted to say they want to file complaints at the police headquarters. 
but the police did not open the gate for them to go in. So the situation at police headquarters was a standstill for around two hours now. And as you can see, a hundred or two protesters, now more, should be more than that number, are now blocking the revenue tower. That's where we're at right now, uh, because they couldn't block the government headquarters, they blocked the police headquarters with no success, so they're now trying to block the revenue tower. Now people working or stay inside the revenue tower have been visible that they can leave the tower if they wish to. As uh, some media are interviewing those who, who has just left the, the revenue tower. On the outside, the um, protesters also block Gloucester Road right outside the building. Try to go Gloucester Road to see. You can see many of them are simply sitting down. They block the entrance. Apparently, they're giving out water to people. So as uh, ice patches for people to cool down. <coughs> Now we are outside the revenue tower, as you can see, lost the road is blocked on both ends as protesters build the barricade. So we can freely go outside to the Gloucester Road, as you can see, no traffic, no people. Look to the far side is the police headquarters, just a few minutes walking from here. But this is the barricade outside the, uh, the revenue tower and the immigration tower. On the other side is the Fortis Tower and the Lockport Hotel, Pico Tower. Now again, if this was last week, then you may have seen a lot of police officers in front of me right now trying to uh, be in a standoff with protesters and block uh, protesters from building barricades. But potentially because of um, the bad reputation police have been enduring, um, from last week's clearance action as 150 tear gas canisters, rubber bullets, bin bag runs been used against protesters. So usually uh, for the protests after June 12, police have been uh, relatively slow and not so gear up to clear protesters wide away as in at the police headquarters, a police spokeswoman said 
no clearance action was pending at the police headquarters. Now we don't know about what's the situation for the revenue tower, will the police clear them? As some processors claim they see, they saw pro, uh, police officers getting into the government building right next to revenue tower to maybe prepare for actions. But as far as, as you can tell, there is nothing happening. As Gloucester Road, it's completely blocked but not really occupied. Protesters are now occupying the revenue tower right next to the screen and they're allowing people working inside to leave. As they tell them you can now go off work and go home. Just now, you can see they're simply sitting down with allowing people to leave, but not much else going on. Now, uh, one comment mentioned G20. Now, the G20 uh, summit is uh, uh, in Japan on. June 28th, 29th, so a week from now, where supposedly um, Chinese President Xi Jinping will meet US President Donald Trump, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, and so on and so forth. And um, according to reports, um, US Sec Secretary of State Pompeo said Trump will talk about the protests with Xi Jinping and um, when the, I think a German top official met with someone from the um, Ministry of Commerce China recently uh, they also mentioned a protest to the Chinese side and according to um, David Missel, student, German student used to study uh, in, in China but he was kicked out of China because of a documentary made about human rights lawyers in China. He moved to Hong Kong to study. So according to David Missile, a um, notice from the German consulate was sent to German people in Hong Kong saying that uh, they should not go to the protest site today because of uh, traffic uh, diversions. Now apparently uh, journalists will be allowed to go into the revenue tower so let's go and see. Working at the um, start working at the tower can leave, but if they want to go back inside to work, they will not be allowed to because they're telling the staff who want to go back inside. The elevators have stopped, so there's no point going inside because again, the elevators have stopped. Uh, we have 
have the lawmaker Chet Hui at the scene. Um, can you tell us what's going on here? Uh, since this building uh, received uh, citizens for public services, uh, I think some citizens are here to enter for dealing with their paperwork. And since they, uh, the crowd is here and he's not, uh, he's not able to go in, so he's a bit dissatisfied and a bit angry about that. But the people here are very politely explaining the situation that uh, because this is a strike and they apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, I see people can leave the tower, why is that? Uh, I don't understand, uh, I don't know what's happening, the arrangement inside, but I, I believe that the building is now uh, shut. That's why, I, as I understand it, the, the civil servant working there are allowed to go outside and, and on leave, but uh, I don't think people can go inside with this situation. Right. Um, is it a response to the government's closure of the government offices today? That's why they moved to this revenue tower? I, I don't represent them, but I understand that, yes, uh, they are, the students here are so angry. They asked for the withdraw total withdrawal of the bill and carry them to step down. So uh, uh, otherwise, uh, it's their uh, non non-cooperation movement uh, will go on and I think it will go on here and it will go on at the police headquarters as, as well as the government headquarters and I don't believe that it will stop. They want it to be a standstill uh, as a pressure to carry them. Okay, uh, thank you. Ted Hoy of the Democratic Party. Protesters, you can see, are asking uh, people to leave away for people inside the revenue tower to leave, as you can see right now, leaving in an orderly manner. They're explaining that the, this path is for people to leave and ask people not to go inside yeah, this path. They explained that the elevators have stopped, so there's no point to go inside. Some protesters are calling for just let the people go in and let them try if they can go up to the building because the elevators are stopped so let's just let them go in and they will not be successful anyway. Get a bigger view of the scene again. <laughs> now, again, they're blocking the revenue tower, but people inside the tower could leave. Uh, protesters are also giving out water, cool patches, so that people would not be uh, having a hit attack.
For those who just got in, um, this is the Revenue Tower, the Government, Indian Revenues Department. Uh, Grunters now have blocked the entrance, but people inside the tower could leave. Uh, apparently there's news that um, the protesters may extend the action to block the immigration tower as well. In a few minutes, we will see. But as you can see, um, those inside the tower could leave. But they, uh, the protesters are urging people not to go back into the tower because the elevators have stopped, so there's no point to go back in anyway. It's not because they don't allow them to go inside, which they can. But the protesters have been telling them um, the elevators have stopped so there's no point to go out. Mm. Now apparently they're taking up the mask and start to move like I said possibly towards the immigration tower right next to the building. As you can see, they're trying to stop people from getting into the refugee tower because there's no point to go there. See many of the people here are very very young. They're leaving the revenue tower apparently to start blocking the immigration tower. Now the police has moved the target again, so from the revenue tower, they're now trying to block the immigration tower right next to it. The immigration tower connects to a few things. The one Chai MPR station for the start. Um, the immigration tower, the uh, central to central center uh, office building, then to the Hong Kong um, Convention and Exhibition Center, then to the Star Ferry to Tim Sa Choi. So it's a strategic pathway if they can block that. Enter the immigration tower. Effectively occupying the immigration tower as they chant, withdraw the extradition bill, and Carrie Lam step down.
Democratic Party lawmaker Ted Cruz is also with them. In front of the immigration tower's entrance to the offices. Chanting, the chanting retract the bill and um, carry them step down as they are sitting down at the uh, immigration tower. With the banner you can see now, no China exhibition and support Hong Kong. The processors are trying to cool down the patch by using an ice patch now just to recap on what's happened right now um, there are two now three major spots of protest the police headquarters and then the revenue tower now uh, the protesters have effectively occupied immigration tower uh, right next to the revenue tower. So there are now three major protest spots um, with apparently warnings have been given outside police headquarters. Uh,
been chanting, retract the bell, and then retract, or retract the bell. Now these four yellow characters on the ground means a uh, happy July, apparently referring to a few days ago during a press conference with Carrie Lam, uh, and a CBS journalist asked Carrie Lam, are you a happy July, uh, as some critics said. Now again, this is not the uh, revenue tower. Now, this is the immigration tower, where protesters have shifted the target from blocking the revenue tower to now blocking the immigration tower. Signs are holding, uh, apparently say, uh, saying, the uh, criticizing the alleged police violence uh, when the police special tactical squad were did not have any identification number for them on the uniforms. Now uh, to talk about what's happening here, it's uh, apparently um, um, the door from the other side is being shut um, or they may have heard reinforcement coming out uh, so they're urging protesters to leave the immigration tower through both sides because it's not safe to be here anymore Right, the door has been locked. Protesters took some of the items from the management. That's why they're arguing with the management office over the items they've took to lock the door. But anyhow, they've blocked this entrance while protesters apparently are blocking. Uh, are leaving through another entrance. Many of them have left from this side. Now they have blocked one entrance, but uh, this entrance is open, so uh, people can leave. And you see uh, Ted Ho moving towards the block entrance. Hmm. 
so as you can tell from the protesters' strategy, they are very fluid, not staying in one place, um, not willing to occupy one place without any reason. So if they see there's no um, specific reason for them to stay at a particular location, say the police headquarters, when the police refuse to talk, then they move to the revenue tower. Then when the revenue tower, when most of the people have left the revenue tower, then they block the immigration tower now. Um, I suppose when most people leave the immigration tower, as they can tell right now, they will block another building. As you can see, like common people coming to the immigration tower through probably uh, they were inside the tower doing some paperwork at government offices or they are from the MTR. The protesters are allowing them a way to, to leave the building while they are simply sitting down. As you can see, they're leaving, leaving a way for protest for people to leave as protesters or sit in at the immigration tower. Telling people in both languages, Cantonese and English, how they can leave the building. <coughs> As they block further entry to the building, they allow people to leave and uh, anyone else be blocked from entry. Saying we're sorry, please exit this way. Sorry for the inconvenience. They're saying the exit is that way. Sorry for inconvenience. Uh, they have been chanting withdraw the extradition bill and carry them chief executive Hong Kong to step down. So they're sitting in at the immigration tower but they're allowing people inside to leave, providing them with an exit. Well, on the other side, the protesters also stood up to block the other entrance. But as far as I can tell, if they want to leave, they can. It's just them blocking the entrance for to block further entry. Um, so just to recap, again, I've been doing that for about three minutes. Um, this whole process started again because uh, protesters on first day demanded the government to respond by 5 p.m. to the demands, including um, retracting the extradition bill, uh, absolve all protesters, stop arresting further protesters, and um, stop withdraw the prioritization of rioting for the June 12 protests. <coughs> oh. Saying that leave away for the wheelchair wheelchair. So protesters because the government did not respond to the, their demands uh, said they will take escalation actions today to block the government headquarters and in response last night the government announced the uh, government headquarters will be closed due to protests and 
so they shift, uh, they uh, just quickly occupy Harcourt Road right outside the uh, government headquarters this morning for a very short while uh, until until they move to the police headquarters as they move to the police headquarters as they block the police headquarters um, they demanded police chief Stephen Lowe to talk to them uh, did, the police chief did not come out to talk so they blocked the immigration so they blocked the revenue tower and repeated again now they block the immigration tower. Then apparently, people who are outside are not allowed to enter. Okay, they're passing on helmets for people inside apparently. Shouting at some people. Um, who was taking picture of the protesters? Yes, again, some are holding the signs. We read uh, no China extradition for the extradition bill and support Hong Kong. These are very young protesters, as you can see. Protesters are still leaving a way for people to exit from the immigration tower. They expect the police may take action to kill them, so they told people, the protesters told people to leave if they want to. They're asking people not to take photos. Uh, as in, the police have uh, in the past used photos of protesters to try to locate and identify protesters to arrest them so um, protesters are very aware of people who take photos of them uh, in case the police may use it for further actions Block this entrance and leaving a pathway for people to exit.
So let's go check the exit provided by the processors now. They said if you want to exit go through the bridge. see um, on the outside Gloucester Row is still blocked no traffic this is outside the revenue tower and the immigration tower <coughs> protesters have Lock the elevator entrance to the immigration tower. This entrance also leads to um, um, the convention and exhibition uh, center. Although there is, it is not the only entrance. So sitting down and leaving a pathway for people to leave from the immigration tower. This is, uh, if you know the geography of Rantai, this is the uh, second level of the immigration tower connecting to the bridge to the MTR. They're allowing people to leave. There's some are sitting in on the ground. They're telling people not to enter the building because they will not be able to come in to work anyway. So, if people want to go from the MTR in front of the screen, they can go through the MTR, one time MTR to the bridge, towards Central Center, towards Convention Exhibition Center. If they want to leave, they can also use this pathway towards the MTR. You can see. The progress is slow, but they can leave. I was trying to block some people to enter the immigration tower, calling them for a strike, not to enter the building. The lady just said, uh, fight on to protesters in Cantonese as she passes through. Um, gator hunters, not sure. There is a deep one alligator in Hong Kong though, at the wetland park in Tinsho Rai. Known for a small car park, when government often issues a press release saying that the car park at the wetland park is full. That became sort of an urban joke. Again, this is the immigration tower in Wan Chai connecting to the MTR Metro and to Central Tower and to the Convention and Exhibition Center. They're telling people uh, to leave the tower 
as they cannot go up to the office to work anyway as they occupy the building. Now this is the probably the first time processes has ever occupied this building perhaps to the surprise of the police and the police did not take any action uh, for now possibly because of the negative image last week as protesters used force on uh, protesters with tear gas, rubber bullets and beanbag runs. Some protesters are also explaining uh, the situation to people in English or allowing them to leave as you can see. They're telling people not to enter but they're telling people to come in uh, because uh, all the offices have closed in the immigration tower because of the occupation. So, uh, someone asked the processors, Can I go up to take uh, ID card? <laughs> Apparently there's a bit of quarrel and uh, they said the person who just left uh, some kind of uh, physical got a bit physical with the protesters but he left quickly. <laughs> well, if I'm reading my German rights, so you're saying someone is saying uh, freedom and human rights must be respected. And I assume you're referring to the demands of the protesters here. And they're closing the door. They now officially block the entrance to the immigration towers on both ends. So this is telling each other to sit down after they've locked the door. Again, this is probably the first time processors have occupied the immigration tower and I suppose the police would be thinking of ways to deal with that. Uh, the background of this is because the processors gave a demand, a deadline to the government to respond by 5pm yesterday. The government did not, so they talked to escalation actions today. Uh, trying to block the government headquarters but the government responded by closing the government headquarters today telling people not to go to work at the government headquarters so protesters blocked the in, uh, police headquarters and, and then the revenue tower and then now the immigration tower Hey, there's some action stances apparently. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, apparently. So nothing is really happening downstairs. It's just um, protesters being. Uh, Unhappy with TVB reporters, um, one of the major news channels in Hong Kong, uh, which are 
seen as more pro Beijing than other channels. They're chanting uh, slogans against the TVB channel, not against the government or the police. <laughs> They're saying TVB news, whatever. I mean, it's, it's a slogan that's been used since around 2012 when um, protesters find more and more example of um, TVB be more pro-government than uh, anti-protesting. So again, nothing from the government or the police yet. They're just shouting at the TVB news channel. Now we can look at the outside. So you see people are still outside. Revenue Tower, Immigration Tower. They blocked the entrance to the Immigration Tower. As they tell people who want to enter, all the offices are closed, uh, all the services are closed. So even if you want to take the to get a new Hong Kong identity card from the offices here, you won't be able to do so, so just go back. People are still outside. Allowing people to leave the immigration town. Turning to talk about the background, um, because the government did not respond to protesters' demand of um, retracting the extradition bill entirely, uh, retracting the criticization of riot for June 12 protests, uh, they did not promise not to arrest more protesters and to release the protesters who have been charged unconditionally. So the protesters took uh, escalation action today to block the government office. Uh, the government office was closed as a response from the government. Then they blocked the police headquarters, then the revenue tower, then the immigration tower. And it's probably the first time for protesters at this scale with thousands of them blocking the police headquarters and the uh, revenue tower and the immigration tower because it probably didn't happen before ever. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure about revenue tower and immigration tower they were never occupied by protesters before. Um, police headquarters is a hotspot for people to file a complaint or protest outside but never at a scale of thousands. Um, so this is the first time um, government office buildings are actually occupied by protesters but they're allowing uh, office workers to leave. They just can't enter because protesters will tell them if you enter all the offices are closed or the elevators are closed so there's no point in entering. Now they're chanting to track the constitution bill one of the demands they gave to the government which still hasn't been responded to
as one of the commentators here uh, reminded us, yes, um, one of the controversy recently this week was that um, the police special tactical squad, usually known as Raptors, uh, in blue uniforms, uh, for the June 12 protest, they did not have any identification numbers or um, insignia um, on the shoulders. So no one knows who they are, no one knows um, what rank and the identification numbers. So no one can really file a complaint against these officers. And so um, the Civil Human Rights Front, the organizer of the march, uh, in the past two weeks, and lawmaker Lam Chek Ting of the Democratic Party filed a complaint to the police yesterday uh, about the lack of identification numbers on these officers. And when media outlets checked the reports on June 9th, so the, the first uh, so called million strong march uh, against the extradition bill. They find that actually the uh, special tactical squad uh, in Bullying Reform actually have badges on June 9th, but they could not find badges on June 12th. So maybe something happened in between. We don't know why or how, but um, again, some police officers have badges on June 9th, but not on June 12th. And as you can see, the leaving, protesters are leaving a way for people to leave. Um, of course, all the services at this immigration tower has been dis have been disrupted. Some people are saying they were trying to, to take their passport from the immigration tower, but not, they could not do so because office was closed and they evacuated people inside. But um, if they want to leave, they can. They're opening a way for people to leave, and uh, that's the status right now. It's the first time they have ever occupied a um, government office building. See many are outside the entrance trying to block us as well. On the far side, you can see the immigrant uh, revenue tower, there's nobody there anymore. Um, so the protesters are adopting a fluid tactic, they're not occupying one spot for a significant amount of uh, they're occupying one spot for a significant amount of time, and as um, people in the tower left, then they move on to another target. Now, there are indeed reports of um, uh, airport police stopping a um, student flying back from Malaysia to a Hong Kong airport um, uh, asking why are you back and uh, what, are they, what are they doing to, uh, in, in coming back. Um, but according to some reports uh, from, from Stan News that um, the police have denied such incidents have happened and they said um, um, responding to, to the reports um, they're not sure why there are some reports like that they did not know of any 
incident like that happen so we're not sure which side is true whether it's their students uh, being stopped by the police at the airport to ask them for the reason they're back uh, or if it actually happened so that 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 we don't know for now for audience who just came in um, again this is the immigration tower uh, they the protesters blocked the immigration tower for the first time uh, an office government office building so services inside the of, uh, of inside the the immigration tower has stopped, uh, even if people can get inside, um, they could not get to the surfaces in the building. But uh, protesters are leaving a way, a path for people to leave the building, as you can see. If so, if they want to leave, they can. But they are blocking the entrance, so the people will not be allowed to enter unless there are necessary cases. Now, one difference with 2014 uh, umbrella movement protests is that. Um, um, protesters now are more conscious about their identity being hidden so most of them will be wearing masks and if they see cameras uh, towards them they'll say don't, don't take photos or if they see cameras pointing at them they'll try to hide their faces in case the police would be gathering evidence to arrest them later on. So um, relatively, it has been a um, little bit more difficult to talk to protesters on screen if they want to, if they don't want to show their faces. They're asking protesters to send up form teams to um, go up to the government offices to tell people what's going on and uh, urge them to start working to support the protests here. So that's why they're leaving to go up to different floors of this uh, immigration tower. They're saying that uh, they're blocking the entrance of this building, but they did, are not stopping the operation of government offices inside. So they're going up to different floors to tell people to stop working. You can see the immigration office is still working. Government office is also working as well. <coughs> so I guess 
they're coming up with ways to stop the operation of the building. Although they have oh, occupied the entrance. So, so far they haven't find what to do yet other than blocking the entrance to the building. But this is of course already a significant development because it's the first time they have successfully occupied a uh, government office building. Now since there's nothing going on there, you know, going back to the ground floor on the block where they block the entrance and let people to leave. <laughs> One organizer is telling people to get some rest, don't waste your energy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is uh, Sam Yip. One of the uh, activists here at the door of the immigration tower. So what's going on? Uh, yeah, in this immigration tower, uh, in uh, in uh, hours ago, uh, the people uh, who was originally originally occupied the uh, the concourse of the uh, taxation building was rushing into this immigration tower and occupied we occupied the ground floor and the first floor, which connected to the uh, footbridge uh, to the one Chai station. And uh, uh, 10 minutes ago, I uh, heard from the uh, civil servants inside the, this building. Uh, they, uh, the office was announced to call off the duty today. And all the civil servants uh, inside this building uh, started to evacuate. Are they allowed to go? Yes. Uh, what's next then? Uh, yeah, we know, uh, you know, uh, in, in case of this, uh, this this action today was not uh, organized by any sort of organizers. Uh, it is relied on the organic movement and organic connection within uh, each individual. Uh, it is hard to say that uh, there's uh, any further action, but uh, I believe uh, these actions uh, will continue uh, until uh, the government re uh, reply on our all five uh, demands. And also, there's uh, a memorial ceremony today uh, at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, outside the festival place. Uh, so I think there will be another peak for this movement. Uh, it's just an answer to uh, try to uh, suspend all the works of other uh, government uh, departments and bureaus. Is it a general rule for today not to be at one place for too long and if you see some signs of police action then you move on to another government office? Yeah, uh, obviously uh, the protesters are, uh, are marching quite peacefully uh, without any violence, uh, just uh, civic disobedience or occupying this concourse but not uh, uh, involving any violence and not involving any you know shouting. Uh, so. Uh, they are so organic to move from part to part and to save their energy for the further actions, uh, maybe until night. Thank you, Sam Yip, activist. Now, as Sam Yip said, they are blocking the entrance to the building, um, allowing people to go at the immigration tower, uh, trying to stop all the uh, work office work at the building 
uh, so that they can paralyze the government. So far it has been peaceful, simply by blocking the doors, using the numbers, And as Samif said, there is a memorial for the protester who died last Saturday um, near Pacific Place uh, around 7 p.m. So there's probably another protest hotspot when they have the morning ceremony at 7 p.m. Well, let's try to go outside a bit. The door is locked, they're only allowing one entrance and exit. There's the entrance, one of the entrances is blocked, line exit. A lot of supplies, protesters. This is the view from the door. Uh, some are still outside, while well, many are inside protesting. Uh, again, this is the first time protesters have successfully occupied a government office building during working hours. Protesters are allowing people to leave. You can see from the elevated concourse. You can also still go up to uh, government services upstairs if they wish to. It's just that some offices have announced they will not be working today due to protests and staff are leaving. Sorry. <laughs> Has everyone gone home? It's As we talk about the tactics, that's why they're saying they're leaving the immigration power right now to go to the Wan Chai government offices right next to this building. So they're abandoning the immigration tower to, to occupy another government building. So that's seemingly the tactic today when uh, Occupy a office building using the numbers um, when most of the staff and people have left the building, then they move on to another government building.
<clears throat> so now they're moving on to the fourth target today from the government headquarters to the police headquarters to the Grand Venue Tower to now the Wan Chai government building. Oh, sorry. Um, they're not going to the Wan Chai government building. You can see here they're going to the um, uh, government building right next to Pacific Place, uh, below the High Court in in Admiralty. So that will be quite a walk from here to Pacific Place. Wan Chai government offices, it's uh, very much locked and closed uh, with the district court inside, probably not in service. So, just to summarize, basically, uh, protesters have not adopted a long term occupation tactic this time. When the demands are not met, they occupy one place. And when the strategic goal of the place is lower, getting lower, it's getting lower and lower as more and more staff and people inside the building have left, then they move on to the next target. Yes, we're now back on Gloucester Road because it's, the traffic is blocked, so it's completely free for us to walk on. See, people are moving out of the immigration tower and going towards the government offices at Pacific Place. Just a sign of the weather in Hong Kong is more than 30 degrees, 22 degrees. So it's very hot. Sometimes it rains for like a few minutes, but still very hot. And they're walking to us. We're eating like a pig. We're all swaying like a pig. That's from a, a media colleague from Immedia. <laughs> Now walking to a specific place is quite a walk. The goal is to occupy the government offices right next to, uh, right below the High Court, right next to the Pacific Place. This is the fourth target today. Instead of occupying one place and staying there for long, uh, if they think, uh, well, in terms of day, there is not a central command, so it's just small groups of people deciding by themselves whether they want to move and if they all agree to move then they move there's no exact central leader telling them what to do and so they decided to move on to the fourth place today to the government office in Namrosi not the central government office but the government office below the high court the court is open today so potentially if they occupy the uh, government office there they may affect the operation of the high court uh, but we'll see Today, uh, since the police have been very slow in taking actions, um, 
the threat right now is probably not tear gas but the sun so I guess they need uh, sunglasses rather than goggles uh, apparently they're moving um, not bricks but stone from uh, the nearby op uh, construction site to create another roadblock for them to go that way because they have blocked the road so they have to take a, a detour to a specific place <laughs> as you can see the barricades here either they have to cross through the barricade or go across the side roadblock to um, Go towards Emerald <sighs> Potentially, um, I guess one of the danger for them today actually could be the heat that they may get a heat attack if they stay outside for too long <laughs> as you can see people are marching towards the government office uh, in Amosi we're now at the uh, Academy for Performing Arts close to the government offices Just to talk about what's going on again, um, protesters yesterday gave a list of demands to the government that they have to respond to by 5 p.m. The government did not, so they chose to escalate actions today um, by trying to block the government uh, headquarters. Uh, however, the government yesterday um, decided to close off the government offices. They move on to the next target, oh, okay. to the police headquarters. <laughs> move on to the police headquarters, then to the revenue tower, then to the immigration tower, then to the government office under the high court. So this is the fourth target of the day. They're not occupying. No, actually fifth. Fifth target of the day. Um, they're not occupying one spot for a longer term. If they find it not useful to occupy that location, they'll move on to another location very quickly. Some are now saying to go to the uh, 
government offices under the high court but they're now mixing into the crowd so it's hard to tell which way they're going Go and check police headquarters and see uh, if we'll be going on to the government offices. entrance of the block police office and seemingly common people may be going in to report a case could not go in as you can see it's still completely occupied the row outside police headquarters the uh, banner you see under the name police headquarters means never surrender second uh, means never surrender the police officers guarding the entrance of shields but again there's not much going on as this location for the past few hours uh, they're demanding police chief to come out to speak to them, to apologize, uh, but nothing has been going on. Let's try to go to the government offices. Attack and the betray of be is being treated by first aid right now. We just bumped into Lo Yok Kai of the Hong Kong Human Rights Monitor uh, working as an observer today uh, just to observe what's going on today so Mr Lo, what are you seeing right now? Well, uh, we observed a very peaceful demonstration outside the police headquarters. Uh, we have been walking around as well to the uh, Immigration Tower, uh, the Union Avenue uh, Tower as well. Uh, and everywhere there are protesters uh, and all peaceful. Uh, and I think the police have uh, been quite restrained so far. Uh, and uh, those uh, security guards in various buildings, uh, at least uh, now, are quite peaceful. And protests are allowed to do uh, protests at the, uh, near the main entrances. And uh, all the staff have been, have been, have been allowed to have uh, stay off <laughs> uh, because of this uh, demonstration. Well, I guess we should have them. Hello, <laughs> yeah. oh. We're moving barricades and I think they were shouting at a reporter of the pro-Beijing 
or rather state control Ta Kong Pao um, a newspaper which is uh, under the control of the China Liaison Office and moving barricades to take the sidewalk and uh, go to Amrose. So you can see some are wearing helmets in a red cross so uh, these are first aid Helpers instead of protesters with medic vests. <laughs> you can also see actually a lot of protesters are uh, wearing black t shirts with. Um, comments by politicians, by the police chief, by uh, if anybody with, uh, who've made interesting remarks recently such as those towards reporters and those towards protesters such as one when uh, the police, of, uh, police commissioner was asked um, how would he describe for a final word for protesters being arrested from hospitals and Stephen Lowe, the police commissioner's reply was uh, I can't find the right words so protesters printed I can't find the right word on a t-shirt as, as, a, as a parody Oh, that's why people are cheering. Um, the ambulance have been able to enter the police headquarters to take away potentially the injured, sick protesters we just saw. So they're lying away for the ambulance to enter. So let's keep on heading towards the uh, specific place to the Governor of Easter. You can see, keep on seeing a lot of people at the police headquarters. Finding ways to go out of this blockade. seem they're moving anyway so let's go and check but I'm not quite sure if they really would try to uh, surround the government offices oh. <laughs> There's still many, many processes out here. Now back to the main road. As uh, you can see, specific places in front of us.
protesters block this road as well but the traffic uh, eastbound and westbound are still going on as uh, protesters left one lane for traffic eastbound and westbound traffic were not affected but for now let's go to the back door of the police headquarters where protesters are also occupying as well Friends from Apple Daily? Yeah. It's alive? Yes. Hey, hello. <laughs> uh, Lincoln 10 here has a first hand experience of being bitten by the police during the 2016 Hong Kong clashes. He made a complaint to the police, uh, complaint against the police office, and the result was the result you get. The result is uh, it can't be. Oh, cannot be substantiated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so after after f uh, three years, she did not get a reply. Did not get a so reply. So we go to the court and uh, have a civil claim to the commissioner of the police. Yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you. Lincoln Tan, Apple Daily reporter, uh, main power reporter. By 2016, he was um, on a bus during the. 2016 uh, Mong Kok clashes and was beaten up by the police to file a complaint to uh, complain against the police office and uh, the office said an internal department of the police said that his complaint cannot be substantiated so he filed a civil claim to the court against the police commissioner now we have the an official anthem of the protest saying, saying hallelujah to the Lord. This is the back door to the police headquarters as it's blocked by protesters. See, uh, this is around the police headquarters. Some police are unlocking from the car park, presumably, with the amount of protesters uh, too big. So they are not only occupying the front door but the back door and around the whole police office. But in our knowledge, the police headquarters here, it's not sort of the, the uh, location, the garrison for uh, the um, police tactical unit. Rather, it's more or less the, um, look, uh, the office for desk workers of the police. So a lot of them are actually not sort of armed police officers inside the police headquarters, but just office workers. Um, if I were to guess the um, location of the police armed officer right now, they would be at the um, Wan Chok Han Police Academy um, next to the Ocean Park, ready for deployment instead of being stuck within the police headquarters. Going towards the direction of Pacific Place Mall, where some protesters said they would try to uh, occupy the government offices there. You can see if we can go through uh, 
the bridges uh, to the high court and then go into the offices. <coughs> to summarize what has happened today, again, processes of four demands or some five, including Carrie Lam to resign uh, to be met by 5 p.m. yesterday the government did not give a response so protesters escalated the action today to uh, trying to occupy the government offices but government's response was to close the government headquarters today so it would be relatively meaningless to occupy the government offices central government offices so they moved the targets to police headquarters as we just see and then some of them moved towards the revenue tower of the inner revenue department then uh, they allow people to leave the inland revenue tower into the immigration tower and after many people at the immigration tower have left they moved the target to the government office uh, below the high court in Admiralty that's where we are at right now as you can see a lot of protesters entering uh, uh, the United Center which has the footbridge connecting to Pacific Place and the government office in Admiralty which is not the central government office we're talking about relatively peaceful inside United Center the uh, escalator is still working guards are looking but nothing is happening Again, we're heading towards the government offices under the High Court. Which is the next target of protesters. You can see the United Center lets protesters pass through, banks are still opening. The United Center is a hub for many of the banks. It's the Hang Seng Bank, Char Center Chartered, uh, Bank of East Asia, with a shopping or with a supermarket. They're moving towards the next target. The government offices uh, under the High Court. As you can see some are already gathering at the High Court. And this in front of us is the government offices. Let's go that way.
entering Pacific Place, a pathway towards the government offices near High Court. As you can see it, cloud of processes in black and some lawyers who so just probably left court. They're moving towards the we're at Pacific Place, the shopping mall. Uh, they're moving towards the government offices under the High Court, you can see. This is this would be the fifth target of occupation today. From the government headquarters to police headquarters to revenue tower to immigration tower to the government office near High Court right now. Some workers are apparently moving uh, uh, metal plates to block the door. Uh, you can, all you can see is a group of protesters in black heading in towards the government office. Go to find a vantage point to see what's going on. Blocking the entrance to the government offices and allowing people to leave again. Sitting down here. Processes. <clears throat> As it has locked its door. So again, this is outside the High Court. 
and it's filled with processes in black. The high court. Which is completely filled with processes. to repeat what's going on this is the fifth location uh, protests have tried to occupy today uh, unlike past protests when they try to stay on one location uh, until police come to disperse them this is the fifth location they've tried to occupy today in a new form of protest uh, without a leader as protesters decide on their own what to do and if they agree the others will follow So let's follow them. Mm -hmm. um, now, this government office, it's mainly uh, the Department of Justice, so one of the main target of uh, processes. As you can see, they are moving up towards the High Court and the government offices here, right next to Pacific Place. the escalators are shut down so we all have to walk now it's hard to estimate what the turnout is today as protesters are very fluid they are mostly a lot of small groups of protesters organized by themselves choosing the targets to go it's quite hard to tell how many are there? Other than there are enough to paralyze some of the government offices. The government offices are shut down, they say so. No need to go up. As they go towards the high court, let's go see a wider angle. This is above the Pacific Place Mall. We're looking at is the Victoria Harbour uh, Legislative Council and the MOT Plaza traffic is normal uh, although the uh, direction eastbound was one time it's uh, more crowded 
the protesters right now are right next to the high court which is already closed due to the protest but of course it's now 4 p.m. so um, there wouldn't be a lot happening at the court anyway Protesters actually wanted to occupy this building, the government offices in Admiralty, but it's closed and the high court is closed. So they may have to choose the next time. And also, this car is this car. Uh, but it's an AM car, AM means a government. Silton Senior Council probably finishing finish the case and you know, leaving the building. But it's closed and the government office here which is just trying to occupy the wrong place. So protesters may need to choose another target. And so far no one has not a lot of people has got up to this level because uh, there's not much going on so maybe we should head down Just saying again, uh, the tactics of protesters today is relatively fluid. So they don't stay in one place, um, they don't occupy one place for a very long time unless there is a specific purpose. When uh, most of the staff at the Revenue Tower and the Immigration Tower have left, then the processors left as well to move on to another target to here at the um, government offices in Admiralty. So, as the government offices are closed, uh, they are probably now discussing what is the next target, and that is the uh, tactics today to move to different targets very quickly uh, to put on more pressure to the government instead of staying in one place see many are resting and thinking of next decision checking their phones as um, there are a lot of information on different channels on telegram social media app that uh, processes think is secure that they can share a lot of information on to make the latest decision on what to do. So a lot of resting and checking the phones, probably deciding on what to do next. make a summary of the situation right now that protesters are surrounding 
to different places today to put pressure on the government so that the uh, government will listen to the demands they gave a deadline to the government on Thursday 5 p.m. but the government did not agree to their protest uh, to the demands so protesters decided to escalate the actions to occupy government offices today uh, their first plan was to occupy the government uh, headquarters to, to block the entrance to the government headquarters but the government uh, made a decision last night to stop working at the government headquarters today so protesters could not it would be meaningless for protesters to occupy the government headquarters entrance today so protesters moved the target to the police headquarters and then asking the uh, police chief commissioner to come out to speak to them to apologize to explain uh, the reason alleged police violence then they moved as the police commissioner did not come out to speak they moved on to the uh, revenue tower of the government about five ten minutes of work from the police headquarters to occupy the building which they were successful and then when all the staff and people inside have left they moved on to the immigration tower the fourth target of the day to occupy the tower and to stop services inside and when mo a lot of people and the entrances have been blocked uh, at the immigration tower when most of the people have left and as the services have stopped they move on to the fifth target now here uh, at the government offices and the high court in Admiralty next to the Pacific Place Mall uh, but they have forced the uh, offices to close right now and the court to close right now so um, they are only sitting here on the bridge to the high court uh, resting and possibly thinking of their next plans Johnson Yuan here, uh, one of the activists involved in the protest. So Johnson, can you talk to us about what's happening here? Well, so uh, the police are pretty successful in doing a blockade to government departments. So right now we are at the Admiralty Government Headquarters, where a lot of protesters are <coughs> doing a sit-in uh, and trying to protest with the government. And in our understanding, a lot of civil servants can get off of their work early so they can enjoy a long weekend while at the same time we also achieve our objective which is to um, cause disturbance to the government. And now the government will have to consider that if this situation occurs for two weeks or three weeks, uh, it might disrupt their work and they will have to consider that they have to give us a formal official uh, withdrawal of the bill and also uh, a, a compromise and a response to the demands of the protesters. Um, so this is a Friday protest. Will protests continue on Saturday, Sunday, or Monday? Yes, I I imagine people will still come out, and Hong Kong people are very innovative. So I think they will find a lot of ways, uh, not just sit in or protest or walk They will find a lot of ways <coughs> in extending pressure to government. Thank you. Um, so at least for the time being, what do you think is the plan for now until maybe 7 p.m. when there is a memorial for the protester who died last week? Well, things is, uh, the protest stopped really early this morning. Uh, is that uh, people were mobilized at 7 a.m. So right now, I think people are taking a rest. Well, there's actually different uh, protest grounds. So uh, the one you see in here is only one of them. And there are more people who are, who are doing a blockade at the uh, police headquarters. Um, so when this happens, I think uh, things will be calm, but I'm not sure what will happen uh, when uh, the night is approaching and what will happen to me. Thank you, Johnson Yuan is an activist from Hong Kong and uh, one of the protesters here. 
So now we're seeing, as he, uh, Mr. Yuan has said, people are resting, checking their phones, uh, thinking of next plans in different small groups. Uh, there's no central command. There is no uh, one telling them what to do. They're thinking of, they think of what to do by themselves and decide what is the best strategy. And if people think it is uh, a good strategy, then they will follow. There's no chain of command here. So again, this is the entrance to the high court and the government offices uh, in that roti next to the Pacific Place Mall, but not the central government offices, which have been which has been closed uh, since this morning. This is the high court and the government office attached to it, and there hasn't been any developments for now. So. Um, We'll take a rest and uh, come back when there are new updates. Uh, this is Chris Chang from Hong Kong Free Press signing off. Thank you for watching.